whispering. No. I thought that was the point because people this, are sleeping. This is this is now an ASMR channel. Oh, is that what we do here now? Yeah. Unfortunately, oh, okay. I can't rub my mic or it will just peek it and sound really awful. So we're just going to talk really softly today. This time on the branch. Yeah. Talking very softly. Maybe we'll, I'll talk like a golf announcer, maybe? The Merith hits the switch. Kills the enemy, whose name I don't know. Spiky. Spiky. Kills Spiny. Spiky. Spiky Spiny. Something like that. Jumps through the Star Wars Rebellion symbols. And then we fucking book it! Whoa! Nope, I'm, I'm fucked. Oh, and you're dead. I, I took way too goddamn long. <laughs> I I was willing to take that gag the whole way. I was like, no, we're we're gonna we're gonna make this last a whole fifteen minutes, but no, Fuck no, I had to fucking you had to ruin, ruin it. it. Damn it! You were holding a fart in, didn't you? And you didn't want it to to be you know heard on mic, right? Yeah. What? Uh, I, I I are you failed. projecting? I failed at a joke. That's what I did. Are you projecting? I think you're projecting. You had a fart, didn't you? My voice projects. That's typically what a voice does. Good job, John. No, we've talked about how I have a hard time farting, actually, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, I, because I my evil stepmother, Angela, oh, bring it all home from, like, almost a week ago. I'm scared? Literally. <laughs> Did you see that yeah. joke? Yeah. Evil stepmother, Still. Angela, Angela literally scared the shit out of you to the scared point. Scared the farts out of me. That you can't oh, get that feather. Yeah. You have to go. You just have to go. Run. Oh. And die. Good job. <laughs> You did. You know, you know that sound clip. Run. Boom. 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 Ah, fuck it. I'm just gonna do it. Do it live. I'm doing it live. Uh, like Bill O'Reilly wa always wanted. Yeah. Because the... people don't reference that enough on the internet. Never. We've never said that in a recent episode in the past three months <laughs> of making Bill O'Reilly jokes and. I just, feel like he's the memes. meme that never goes away, though. Like, because there's, we'll do it live, there's Tide Goes In, Tide Goes Out. Can't explain um, fucking anything. Yeah, that, that was that same one. I guess that's it. Are those his only memes? There those, have to be those more. Those are his Bill most Riley popular. Memes. I'm sure he. You should he has duck more. when you do that jump. That's what I realized. Probably. It's because I wasn't taking this part fast enough. You, you, you hesitated. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, I think you're going to make it this time. Easily. Oh, yeah. Wow, that was way simpler. Now you gotta fight your way past some Koopas. These are some dedicated guys to like, you know, they're just turtles and they're climbing around. Just constantly on the fucking grating. Uh-huh. Um, it's really grating, you could say. It's degrading. <laughs> Get it because they fucking hate their job and I, fuck life. I, I think I know where you stand, but how do you feel about uh, like women as sex workers, strippers? Is that degrading or is that empowering? Is it um, context specific, specific? It's context specific, I think, because, you know, some people ooh, just enjoy doing that, but sometimes you do what you got to do to fucking get by. I, I, I have a good friend who is uh, who is a cam model, you know, one of those people that, that shows their boobies for a living. I also know some people who are not good friends that do that. <laughs> They're enemies? Well, some are acquaintances and some are... One is an enemy. I would definitely classify her as an enemy. Uh, as much as Wendy Koopa here with her crazy hair. This is Ludwig, you fuck. This is Ludwig? Oh, it is Ludwig. And he's a guy. Why has he got crazy hair? Oh, because he's because named after Ludwig. a classical composer. Damn it. Well, I was what trying, are you doing? You were trying, trying to be cool? I was trying to be cool. I was trying to... <laughs> Look at that Mode 7 spin. I was trying to kill him with a spin attack and be fucking fancy as fuck. Anyway, you were saying. Fancy free. So, yes, when I think almost always when a woman is a sex worker, unless they're forced into it, it's empowering. If, whether it's a girl who's paying her way through college, that's, that's something... I love this one. That's an option that Shut the a, fuck up, John. I love this one. Okay. Aww. Wow, a little band-aid. Where do you get a band-aid that big that quickly? Uh, buildings. Building Co. Building Co. sells band-aids? Yeah. No, he picked it off the ground. Look at the ground. It's got band-aids everywhere. No, it's one of the There's clouds. bandages all over. Yeah. Yeah, uh, in the ground. Just on the, on the, you know. Anyway, sorry to interrupt you. <laughs> it's okay. We do it to each other all the time. No, where are you going, Luigi? I'm going down here. Fuck you. <laughs> Come I'm going to get Luigi. lost in the forest of illusion. <laughs> so, words. That's only about the eighth time I've said so this episode, correct? So? <laughs> a needle pulling thread. What? Yeah, Jamie says that, and the first time she said that, it irritated the fuck out of me. Did I was she like, explain it to you? She did, and I mean, I get it. 
But it's one of those things that's like... That was a blue one, apparently? Yeah, because he was blue. You didn't fucking see? I, I couldn't tell. Abadi, Abadai. Oh, and they have blue hats, too. Okay, okay, okay. I'm digging it. Oh, I just can't kill him. No, you, you have to eat him if you want to kill him. Okay. You just have to swallow. <laughs> hey, let's not get back on that train. Oh, no, you don't want to? <laughs> so, so, yes, the point is everyone, every girl I've seen that does sex work is very empowered. A girl who does sex work to, like, pay through, pay for school or something, she is doing something that a man is less likely to be able to do. I can't say a man can't do. Oh, I should have I should have eaten him. Uh, because there are male sex workers, obviously. They're uh, just very less common. Well, and their clientele is usually other men, just like most female sex workers. Clientele. Oh, I can just eat them. Yeah, I fucking said that. That thing you said, like, just you, a second ago. You fucking ingrate. Oh, wow, that, that looks like the most brutal way to kill someone. Yeah. Just, like, hit him with a shell and then he falls into pieces. Oh, there's a key down there. Yeah. I need a blue hat. Yes, you do. And guess what's not here? Oh, no, say it ain't so. Is there one further ahead? What, what is this? Fucking rock band? Rock band? Say it ain't so. <laughs> Dude. Well, that was a stretch. Isn't there a, a P floaty? Yeah. Okay, so fat we're fine. Fat Mario. Yep, he's very fat. Why does he get lighter when he's fat? I know, because he's inflated. Yeah. Come on. Fly your happy ass up here. Because, you I'm know, just going to sit here and wait. I'm not going to chance anything. Yeah, because being, you know, filled with helium allows you to to fly like that, but... Oh, and my, my other point with the sex work is most women find it empowering, like they enjoy it. It's a, it's a power trip when they do it. They feel, you know, stronger and more in control because they're dictating when the work is happening, which is why when it's forced, then, then it's, like, completely the opposite, of course. You know, when it's someone who's a, you know... Perhaps a girl that's on a, you know, hooked on a drug and like their their pimp keeps them strung out or, you know, something horrible like that. But you know the bad kind. Yeah, it's it's weird to me how politically what's what one group of people accepts changes over time. So so for example, um, if you go to a, a women's study class in most of the parts of the country, I'm sorry, you will your teacher will say, you know. It, all sex work is degrading and bad and it's horrible for women and that's something that like that's what when we were kids a well yeah know, a right wing the, republican would say well because the thing is they don't want you to do that right the, but, the whole idea is you know you you should be better than that but but like feminism or left leaning whatever you want to call it we'll, we'll say left leaning feminism even though this is way more there's way more nuance than that we'll we'll say for brevity's sake when we were kids, left wing, left leaning feminism would say, "No, women should be allowed to do that. They should have that choice to do what they want with their bodies." And and now it's sort of gone in another the other direction. Way. And I I kind of just sometimes wonder what's changed because sometimes it's literally the same person saying that. Not always. I can't say that categorically. I I think it's um, it, it's on you now. Um, I, I know it's on me. Mario raised his hand. I know. He answered the call. I, I think it's just oh. one of those things where just people kind of like change their views as they get older. Like that definitely happens. Okay, how do I get up there? I have to get a cape, don't I? Let's go I back and get that. Don't remember. Beating this level like just legit standard way leads nowhere. I mean, right? I think we still need to for the hundred percent stuff. Okay, I'll just die. How about that? Yeah, that'll work. Yes, be... I'll just die. You've seen that image macro? No. You haven't? Oh, it's uh, it's George Carlin, and he's doing the shrug, and it's he just said it just says, "Guess I'll just die." Well, yeah, he kind of did. Well, yeah, I guess if you want to be morbid about it, but it, the point was more like the face he was making, not about George Carlin himself. Oh, be, because he did, and I was actually very upset that I never got to see him live. Oh, me too. Well, I wasn't into him until after he died. So I was into him for a I was, very long time. I wasn't like I, I was aware of him and I'd seen a couple of his bits, but like I wasn't into him like I am as an adult. So I, I guess I didn't have that morning when I could not see him. Like, I'm, you know, like if Penn and Teller died today, I'd be very sad because I'm a huge fan of Penn and Teller and I still have never seen their show because uh, I've actually gotten my, to see them. My current employer, Caesars Entertainment, uh, does not give any discounts for employees to go see that show because they're super popular and they they, use, they often sell out that auditorium. So 
you know, it's their financial Why, why would you detriment. discount something that's going to sell out? Yes, right, and and is in high demand. So you're basically kicking a tourist who might want to see that show out of a seat and losing the company money. Plus, money is probably split. You know, they the theater, like the the show, often is a its own business. Yeah, and ticket sales get split between the show and the house very frequently. Uh, and depending on the show, some shows the the house, the casino, never gets a dime from the show because it's such a draw. Especially if it's like a fancy show, like like O oh, or you know some kind of Cirque show that's really expensive to put on. Just the gambling it brings into the casino is the is casino's enough. cut. And I, I don't I don't know if that one's you know for sure lag. itself specifically. Yes, very loud. Also, why do football players chirp? Um. Cause he's catcalling you. Ah, yeah, he's he's belittling you. Is that it? Yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. Well, just if you belittle people. No, no, no. Comment if what what your feelings about catcalling are. Let's uh, start a flame war in the comments. I like calling cats. They're like meow. <laughs> Except for meow. our cat, Pretty, right? Because she just screams back at you. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna follow you because I don't have a cape, and I know you need a cape to to get the good exit out of there. Out of where? Out of the the ghost house. Uh, I'll go find it, but we still want to do the regular exit too, don't we? Um, I don't think so. Oh, there's exploding stuff in. This I don't think any level. of the regular exits in this in the they still are count. Good. I think because you have to reveal all the paths. Does it add paths? Okay, yeah. I guess I guess we better check and make sure we're adding paths. I'm I'm pretty sure. Because yeah, that does still count towards completion. Hey, there's hey, a there's pipe. a thing down here. It's just randomly do, checked. Do, do, you know what? Do. Fuck it. I, don't... I was going to say, you do kind of need lives, but... Yeah, I'm at eight, and this is the last episode of the session. Are you we sure? totally need more. Okay, maybe it's not, but... And bye, Yoshi. I'm not going to run out of eight lives that quickly. Are you sure? <laughs> Instant regret? No? Not? This would be the perfect time to say next time on the branch, but, uh... But, uh... We're like four minutes into the episode. <laughs> no, we're like twelve. Oh, really? So uh, let me let me go do. The let me thing. take care of this. <laughs> let me go hump the ground in a cape. Fuck. Don't you don't you like to hump the ground in a cape? Uh, all the time. You got a phone call. I bet Jamie's off work and she's calling you. And then uh, she's gonna be like, "Where's where's a Merith? She'll probably call Anik next. And she'll call me. No, next. she'll call you and then call Anik and then I don't know. Jamie, yeah, yeah, no. I'm playing, standard exit. I'm playing Mario. Please. Stop. Don't. No. Oh, you got a feather. I you got can, a feather. You I'm can go take that route. Go left. Go Close. west, my son. Carry on now. Way, wayward. <laughs> wayward son! <laughs> something, something, peace when you are done. Go west. Something, what? something, something. I don't. Go west. Oh, I know what it is. There's a door you have to go into that takes you back there. Something, something, some. Yeah, and I bet Go I need to take that, that cape right. This is an old song. Maybe. Go west. That I don't know the words to. It was in this room. Yep. In the ghost house. With the machete. What? With the machete. Hey, hang on. There's a feather there. Uh. Uh. Hey, you fuck. Stop that. Uh, where... Well, apparently Jamie really needs to talk to us. So. Ow. So we're going to talk to Jamie real uh, quick. No, don't do that, John, please. No, no, we're calling Jamie. No, not not right now, John. No, that's 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 a bad. Please stop. No, no, Jamie, Jamie's Damn on it. the line. No. What, what do you need, Jamie? That's John, so urgent. John, stop that, because your turn. You're fucking it up. Hey, ja Jamie, say hi. No, just hang up. Jamie, say next time on the branch. Next time on the branch. Boy, didn't that sound good? Next time on the branch and the fucking episode. <laughs>